Versa Thunder 380. An excellent choice for personal protection or concealed carry. I did an earlier review on the Versa Thunder 380. It was one of the dual tones. And uh, this is, though, a more recent model. And there are a lot of features on this one. And to be honest with you, some of the refinements on this make this a much better uh, pistol. Uh, you know, Bursa has come a long way. And to be honest with you, 20 years ago, when I first came in contact with Bursa, I just really wasn't all that impressed. But I'm going to tell you what, these little Bursa Thunder 380s are impressive. Of course, first off, when handling a gun, you want to make sure that it's safe. One of the first things that you'll notice are the lines on this gun. It's just, it's a beautiful gun, very reminiscent of a Walther PPK with uh, a lot of the similar features. But that's just a proven design, and, you know, this is kind of based on that. Um, this is made in Argentina, and it is, this company has been around for a number of years. Uh, but the quality is, has improved over those years. So, um, and as you notice here with the finish of this gun, it is a matte blued finish. It does come in a dual tone and it comes in a satin nickel. It also comes in a concealed carry model, which is more rounded off. It makes it just a little more easy. It's actually four ounces le lesser in weight. This does weigh about 20 ounces. Uh, it does have a three and a half inch barrel. Very nice steel slide. Uh, to me, it's fairly, it's a very finely finished pistol for, for this price range. And, um, but even not for this price range. I think that the the, the, uh, the finish is, is very nice on this. I did a review, as I've said earlier, on uh, another Thunder 380 that was the dual tone. And to me, this one has improved in fit and finish. Uh, it does have the uh, grips, the soft molded rubber grips, which makes it very nice to grip. And also, there are serrations on the back and here on the trigger guard. Now, as you notice, the grip does have finger grooves, but this is really part of the neoprene grip itself. Uh, this could actually be cut off if you wanted, uh, you know, because it's going to be individual. My hands are not that large, and it fits it very nicely. If you have larger fingers, you may have some trouble getting your fingers aligned to here. And as I've said, you can just cut this off. Um, it does have a finger groove here in the grip to give you a little more extension, which makes it nice. Um, it does have the slide release right here and uh, makes that very convenient. One of the things though I want to mention is is that it has a magazine safety. So if you pull the magazine out, this gun cannot be fired. Uh, that is a safety feature. A lot of law enforcement really like that. They can drop their mag if they get into a, a scuffle or something where the gun can be taken from them. So um, I personally am not a big fan of magazine release, but I, it doesn't really matter that, you know, if it is. Um, one of the things too is it does have an integral locking system right here with a key. I just don't have it with me, um, but it's, it's a feature that some people like. I personally, again, I don't care for that either. Uh, this does have a hammer drop safety. Now this is one of the improvements over the last model that I reviewed is the, the first one, it was a very difficult to get that to fall uh, the hammer drop. But with this one, they fixed it. It's got a view of the sights. It's got a single dot at the front, and then you can frame it up right here. It does make a nice sight picture. It's a commander style hammer, and then of course you've got this slight little beaver tail area here that makes it nice when gripping. Really gets it firm it up into your hand, and I like that. The uh, slide release has been extended, so you can get a good purchase on it to release the slide. Now this is a double action, single action pistol with the exposed hammer. And so what that means is, is when you pull the trigger, the hammer will come back and fire the pistol on the first shot. You can pull the hammer back on the first shot if you're target practicing. But if you really need to pull it out, you can bam, fire the pistol. And then on subsequent shots, the hammer will remain back into this position. This trigger pull though, the, the double action trigger pull is not the best, it's not too bad. Uh, the, the single action trigger pull has a little bit of take up, but, but not too too bad either. Uh, in fact, again, for the money, this is an excellent pistol. I'm the, to me, the trigger pull is fine. Okay, we're going to look at field stripping the pistol, and of course, you want to just double check to make sure that this gun is unloaded. You bring your lever down, and then you just bring your slide back and up. And then when it releases, do it slowly. The magazine, I mean the spring, will come forward. And here is the slide itself. 
this kind of barrel is uh, very accurate. The barrel remains solid, and so it just it just means accuracy typically in most pistols. So um, that's one of the PPK designs, and it's just a well-designed pistol. The recoil spring itself is a very simple spring, of course, it just fits right over the barrel. And then to reassemble, you just want to push, put the spring in, line the barrel up, go all the way back, and then just let it go. Bringing your lever down, you'll need to insert the magazine to drop the hammer. And voila. Now I shot quite a bit of ammo through this gun, and uh, one of my favorites, and I'll tell you what, HPR, Hyper Clean Ammunition, it's just some of the best. And um, it's very consistent. I mean, very consistent. I have never had any issues out of it. And with this 380, didn't have any issues whatsoever. It just functioned, functioned, functioned. The accuracy was there as well. So just an excellent combination. Now they do have a lifetime service contract that Bursa has for pistols, uh, which you know just means they stand behind their products. The Bursa Thunder 380 is their best seller. They do have other calibers and other type pistols, so check out Bursa.com and you can see a lot of the different uh, offerings that they have. Now if you're looking for a nice little self-defense pistol or something for concealed carry and your budget is hindering you from buying a, a high dollar pistol, I think you'll find that this Bursa Thunder 380 is an excellent choice. It's reliable, it's accurate, and it's very lightweight. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more fun gun reviews and sensible survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. it will remain in the rearward, rearward position. I mean, the hammer will be in the rearward position. So, and the hammer will remain in this rearward position. So, the hammer will remain back into this position, into the single action position.